Hey guys, it's Logan here with Hydra572. It's been a good while since I've been able to make a video. College has been keeping me pretty busy with the 17 credit hours, and there's just a lot of stuff at the beginning of the semester that you gotta get out of the way so that you can sail smooth for the rest of your time. So I haven't really been able to make any videos. I am on my JVC big camera right now. I have some plans to buy a tripod type mount for my iPhone, and I think I'll be doing some YouTube capture type work. It presents some problems because I'd like to archive all the videos that I make on an external drive, so I'm gonna have to finance that too. And uh, there's some stuff in the works. There should be some videos coming here quick. Unfortunately, I just won't be able to keep up the work schedule that I had been during the summer. Uh, just working around a roommate, working around loud people in the hall. But I should be able to do more stuff. And I feel like I have some interesting stuff to talk about uh, after making the transition to college. But with how that's affected my knives, all those sorts of things, my EDC in general. That's really what I want to talk about today. I feel like I've been doing a lot of updating, which is cool. I like to keep you guys informed about what I'm up to. But today I actually have something cool and kind of concrete to talk about. The transition to college has brought me for the first time to a place where I can really say that I have a really highly cued in top EDC. I can say I have some blades that I'm really enjoying carrying and uh, these are the blades that I choose. It's not these blades plus a spectrum of other blades. I really have cued in on this is what I want my EDC to be. And you guys are seeing a big part of it right there. We have the Protec TR4. Really, really awesome blade. This is going in my right front pocket. and. Uh, I am just loving, it took me a long time to get used to the feel of this blade in hand, it took it a little while longer than I wanted to break in, but this is just a sick blade for self-defense, anything like that. Um, that's what it's doing in my front pocket, and I really couldn't be happier with it. It carries really cool, I think it looks just wicked, and uh, yeah, all around awesome knife so far. Haven't really tried out any hard cutting with it, I've kept the edge pretty pristine, and that 154cm strops to just a hair whittling edge. You guys see the old trusted Leatherman style PS. Cool little multi tool. Still haven't gotten mine fixed. The spring on the scissors is broken. And, uh, you yeah, know, I'm not using it as much as I thought I'd be using it, but I am still glad to have it. Moving along that line of small things, I am still carrying my Phoenix LD01. Cool little flashlight, smaller than most pen lights, and it has actually been getting some pretty good use. Other small thing that you guys have come to expect, I am still carrying my Cold Steel Mini Tough Light. Both it and my Phoenix LD01 go in my left pocket. The cold steel clips outside the pocket and is hanging there. I've had some people drop some comments about how I was going to lose the knife. Pretty sure I'm over a year now carrying this exact same blade. I haven't lost the thing yet, so, you know. Uh, this guy gets clipped on a belt loop on my right hip. And then the final blade that has been in the mix has been the Kershaw Emerson CQC 6K, and I actually have a carbon fiber scale for this knife being made. It should ship out on Wednesday, and uh, that might be my first iPhone YouTube capture type video, is showing you guys how that looks. I think it will spruce the knife up quite a bit, and I'm only doing it a little bit because I'm dejected that I didn't get a chance to buy the uh, carbon fiber inlaid Sebenza that I want. So there has been the EDC these past couple of days. I've had some questions recently about why I would carry three blades. I've made videos about it before, but I think it's an interesting question to talk about. Um, yes, I'm building in a lot of redundance. This blade goes in my right front pocket, and I really have gone to this blade as opposed to those larger, like towards the end of summer, I was carrying the Raha 2 a lot, and uh, it's just not really tenable in a college environment. First off, I am kind of skirting the edge of the rules as far as whether or not these knives are considered weapons. And uh, I think I can make the argument that they're tools a lot worse if I'm carrying around the Raha. This guy's big, but I can say that I do need to use it for some kind of utility type work. Plus, I'm walking a lot more in college than I was during my high school and during my high school summers. Uh, a really big walking day for me would have been, I don't know, a mile, whereas now, two, three, four miles crossing campus is nothing to do in a day, and having that big knife in your pocket got irritating pretty quick. So uh, really cued in on this guy for self-defense. Goes in my right front pocket all the time, easy access, I can get to it really quick, and the blade is always really sharp because I'm not using it for any of my utility cutter type tasks. Most of my utility tasks fall right here so that I don't offend or frighten any sheeple, and also I just really love using this blade. Um, a couple people have commented on it. I think they like that it's green. You know, I'm fine with that. Uh, and then this guy, 
if I ever need to do any actual utility cutting type work where I don't want that small of a blade, I can open it up to a more full-sized utility cutter. Awesome blade. This guy goes in my back pocket. Pretty quick on the draw. Depending on my pair of pants, I can wave it open. Pretty dang easy. So that's my college EDC pretty much. Um, it's adapted a little bit. Like I said, the biggest change was subbing out those really huge blades for a more 4-inch neighborhood knife. And uh, I think that's been a good change overall. Um, that being said, if I know that I'm transitioning back to an environment where I'm not going to walk very much, still if I'm not carrying a firearm, I would go for those big Raha 2 style blades. But uh, this is pretty much my college EDC, and I am going to try to be shooting some YouTube um, via capture on my iPhone, so hopefully that will be here soon. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. College has been going really well. Uh, first round of exams went by, and I passed all of them with pretty flying colors, so it's a lot of work, but so far it's been pretty fun, and I think I'll be able to succeed to a pretty high degree. I am grateful for you guys being patient and continuing to watch. I have seen that the audience has continued to grow, even though I haven't really been producing videos, and I do appreciate that stuff a lot. I will do my best to try to um, update more frequently and keep you guys in the loop. And I think I've got some interesting stuff to talk about, the transition to college. It is a really different perspective on how you buy and structure gear. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more of the same.